Hello everybody, welcome to our market report. My name is Christian Charlo. Today we're Wednesday, March 27. Today folks, I want to make first of all a follow-up on the last market report where we talked about a subsector movement in all the American markets. And also today I want to talk about another movement that we have, but mostly in drilling uh, companies. So let's take a look at the situation of the market. We have here the markets that are staying volatile, yes, because our opening we're having a decrease and now we finally had a pretty impressive rebound on the NASDAQ, on the TSX, on the Dow Jones, and even in the Venture Index, uh, led also by the energy uh, stocks. And I'm going to show you a list of those stocks. So before, let's make a follow-up on our subsector movement. There was a subsector movement on the pipeline, another one in the utility sector, another one in the broadline, another one in the home builder. So let's take a look to see how those stocks perform. The market report was on March 20, ever since the pipeline sector has continued to progress. So we're keeping an upward trend in the pipeline. Uh, Makai Partners was put here in a breakout. That stock continues to go up. Uh, Energy Transfer Partners also uh, continues uh, its breakout. It's not a moment to take some profit, though, because the increase has not been as great. It's not even taking 5%, but it's a hold on most of this position. So if you acquire those positions, you're holding on to most of them. On the utility sector, what do we have? Ever since the market report that was published on March 20, we have Oniok, which continues uh, to go up. You have also Intergris Energy Group. That stock continues to go up. It's keeping its nice upward trend, so there's no panic. It's a hold on that stock. U.S. Broadline Retailers, that was the ideal entry point because that was when the sector was testing its upward trend. And every time you see it tested that upward trend, it had a rebound. So I was talking about this rebound that paid off, this rebound that paid off, and now we're having also a rebound in broadline retailers. There was Target, which was really great on March 20. Today, Target is making another breakout. So if you had market gurus that TV that you can get access for free 14 days, you would have been able to get access to Target uh, breakout live. So that would have been a good opportunity to cash in. Right now, we're having a slightly decrease of the upward momentum on that stock. So that's why those of you who didn't cash in on that breakout, if you had access to MarketGurus.tv, well, then you'll be able to, you have to be patient on target because we're slightly losing some momentum. So it's a hold so far because the stock is keeping its upward trend, so there's no panic on target. There was Price Mart. The only risk with Price Mart was the volumes that were actually weak. Uh, 52,000 shares traded, 52,000 shares traded, it's not a lot, but... The stock is keeping its upward trend also. Uh, we like that stock because that stock was clearly reversing that downward trend on a weekly basis. So that, what, that's, that is why that stock was a good breakout. Now it's continuing its upward trend. Home builders, not a clear movement on the home builders. The home builders are staying flat. Uh, D.O. Horton, Lenard Corp, ever since those stock was put in a breakout, Standard Pacific, those stock are staying dead flat so there's no panic on the stock it's a hold on most of those position so right now what about the new breakouts the new opportunities that you could get access on marketgurus.tv just by clicking on the link below on that interview the best breakout that we find that we found in the energy sector where first of all nabor's industry clear break of that sideways formation uh, looking at the stochastics we seeing that there is an inflow of buyers. The stock is testing that upward trend after stabilizing for a while. So that's a nice entry point for Nabor Industries. Rowan Companies, look at all that resistance that the stock broke. Sarcastics are on its side. The stock also is actually, there's, it's not a stock that's really volatile, but right now it's an entry point for Rowan Companies. Noble Corporation, it's keeping its nice upward trend, stabilized for a while. The stochastics are making a higher bottom. So yes, that's a good entry point for Noble Corporation. And last but not least, American Axel, because look at all that resistance. Tested here, tested there, tested there. The stock broke that resistance around this area, stabilized for a while, made a false attempt, and now again it's going up. So, and the stochastics are on its side because we're starting to see an inflow of buyers because we have some room to go before we reach the overbought situation. So all this uh, telling us that American Axel has more potential uh, because 
on a technical basis, it's breaking an important resistance, it's stabilized, and we have um, bearish momentum on that stock. So with this, most of the stocks, by looking at this list, in the pipeline, in the utility sector, in the broad line, and the home builders, are just hold opportunities, hold on to them. And in terms of the new opportunities that you can get access on, on marketgurus.tv free for 10 days, those include the ones with an S, like Nabors Industries, Roaring Companies, Noble Corporation, and American Axel and MFG Holdings. That said, folks, see you next week for our market report. And don't forget that the more money you make, the happier we are. See you next week.